Today's exercise involves increasing the length of time she can hold her breath, but first I need to see how long she can last without my assistance. OK, so that was about 32 seconds. So that's your starting point. I'm going to try and double that. You're going to be doing this in the water. OK, so I'll take your robe. It'll be a little bit cold on your feet. I'm placing Angela in the tank that is deliberately filled with cold water. This is designed to be uncomfortable and will make holding her breath an even greater challenge. I've placed a diver in the water with Angela for her own safety. Right, just hold on to the side, whatever's comfortable. So feel free just to close your eyes and really relax. Rather than thinking, I've got to hold my breath, you're going to be focusing on a lovely image, some sense of a location, perhaps bobbing around on a lilo. On the... This method of yogic breathing I'm teaching Angela, or pranayama as it's better known, is a process of using the mind to charge one's physical energy and slow the body's rhythmic cycle. In turn, her body temperature drops, the muscles relax, and her heart rate will slow down considerably. This is the same technique relied on by Houdini when performing his death-defying endurance feats. We've already established she can hold her breath for 32 seconds, but if she embraces the ancient technique I'm teaching her, we should see a marked improvement. Relax and enjoy. And if you think it's easy, breathe in and hold it now. Angela has passed her previous threshold and shows no signs of stopping. Angela has done brilliantly and almost trebled her lung capacity. 